Welcome back to News Make Alive with me, Kendall Burton. We're speaking with Renee de Myers and Miss Margaret Montplaisy of the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association. They'll be hosting the uh, SMA Quality Awards on March 8th. But even before the awards, you'll be having this regional manufacturers mm -hmm. meeting. Tell yes. me a little bit more about it. Who's going to be there and what do you hope to achieve with that meeting? Okay, well, one of the things is um, we have been asked by one of the presidents of the um, Regional Manufacturers Association to host this meeting. Mm -hmm. And we were very... Um, we, we were happy that he had asked so that we what we did was we lobbied the other members the other presidents of the um, the other countries from Jamaica all the way to Guyana and we've been getting a very good response mm -hmm. because um, the presidents have recognized and the and the general bodies um, manufacturing bodies have recognized the importance of regional integration and they realize that there are certain um, common issues that affect us all. all right. And the same way that as a manufacturing association, we can work together as a team to achieve some of the challenges that we face. We, we thought perhaps if we con um, convene this meeting and look at some of the issues um, relating to manufacturers, then we can create some sort of dialogue and some sort of integration to help us to, cha to face the challenges and, and, and together as a group. And there is much we think that can we can benefit from that because we realize that um, there is there are different things happening in each one of these countries mm -hmm. that um, like exhibitions, trade shows, you know, and these these countries all have markets and sometimes we are exporting to these markets. Mm -hmm. And if we develop relationships with these people, then perhaps some of the ca the challenges we face trying to enter some of the markets, we may you know find some sort of common bond. They may assist us or work mm -hmm. with us. So develop it. It really is. A, as it's, a, it's a dialogue between us and it is a it's a coming together of minds and of, of countries in the area of manufacturing to try to face some of the challenges that we have and and mm -hmm. we, we're working together to build a bigger family. The Manufacturers Association for St. Lucia is one family and we're looking to be part of the bigger family. The aunts and the uncles etc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. yes. You want to add something there? No, I was just saying there's, like I said earlier, benefit in numbers. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, by going out and um, being able to address a lot of the issues, because there are a lot of trade issues when you trade across mm -hmm. the, the, the mm -hmm. various islands, right. um, being able to address them directly with the manufacturers, um, I think we can all be stronger as a result um, and by working together. I mean, we're very excited to be hosting um, the Regional Manufacturers Association meeting and we're really looking forward to a lot coming out of this um, and so we're quite excited. Yes, <laughs> and we, we're honored because, um, you know, I mean, St. Lucia becomes the, the, the focus. I mean, it, it, it requires everybody to travel to St. Lucia, mm -hmm. to come to our hotels, you know, to, to see what we our offerings. Some of, some of them have not been, but right. believe mm -hmm. me, when I made the contact with most of the, most of the, 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 the um, presidents and the, and the the staff they were they were most excited they thought wow St. <laughs> Lucia is an option you know so <laughs> we are we are very delighted to to, to host this meeting them. yeah no question about that you, you spoke on the subject of exhibitions um, mm -hmm. do you plan to, to host any or stage any exhibitions of your own of course um, um, at our awards our quality awards event we have a mini exhibition at Sanders mm -hmm. Halcyon so um, and we did it the last time it was very successful so our some of our companies they what they do is they, they have a little exhibition on the way too mm -hmm. um, as you enter the the, the, the the ballroom and what and we also are going to be participating in um, the investment forum for St. Lucia right. um, invest St. Lucia who's also been a part sponsor to our regional manufacturers meeting has also is also hosting a, a, a forum for St. Lucia and one of them one of the one of the the agendas and and um, is to exhibit some of the, the products that St. Lucia has um, to offer, you know, to, to as an investment. So mm -hmm. that's one of the agendas. So you see, we by being a part of the organize of various organizations and dove we dovetail into the interests of of every of the of the overall objectives for developing the country and building capacity in the country. And that's what we 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 we, fe we find ourselves a, a, a central part of, and we are we're proud to be. One of your, your former presidents, um, it was Roston Taylor, um, was part of a delegation mm -hmm. that visited Taiwan yes. uh, not so long ago, along with the Commerce Minister yes. and the representatives of various sectors. Um, one of the outcomes of that trip mm -hmm. was um, creating greater 
partnerships or mm -hmm. opportunities for cooperation between businesses in Taiwan yes. as well as St. Lucia, including yes. the manufacturing sector. Mm -hmm. um, one of the concerns that came out of the announcement of that partnership or proposed partnership is the capacity of the local manufacturers to supply markets as large as Taiwan. Yes, yes, yes. That's why the chat the, we really have to be looking at niche mm. markets because you know we are we are we are small we I mean we will not be able to provide um to produce products mm. to for, for a population as great as that. But if we look at niche markets and niche areas, you know, we could find a little small niche and supply that small niche mm -hmm. and be able to produce products of international standards that can go out there and, and compete internationally. Well, in addition, there's also the opportunity for joint ventures because um, if you could go into joint ventures with, with companies um, or producers out of these countries, mm -hmm. out of um, was it, uh, Taiwan, Taiwan or the Asian countries. Yeah, yeah, then you have the whole CARICOM as your market. Absolutely. So if you can go into joint venture mm -hmm. and um, create and produce these goods here mm -hmm. um, by using a joint venture which will give you the capacity mm -hmm. then you have a um, CARICOM market that you can supply so there are other opportunities it's not just supplying them yes, but the yes, ability yes. to right. bring in that um, this technology I mean Roston I mean he, he'd probably be the one should be here answering this question <laughs> <laughs> but he did speak about you know he was quite amazed at some of the technology he saw mm -hmm. some of the yes. some of the things he saw and that um so if we could have gotten some of this brought into our own um, plants back in St. Lucia I think um, mm -hmm. we'd benefit from that and we have to say we are proud of um, Rostin's contribution because mm -hmm. he's very much a part of our organization although he's the past president but mm -hmm. he provides a lot of support to us Absolutely. you know and we, we really do appreciate that so <laughs> it is wonderful. as you've alluded to um, globalization has allowed manufacturers um, access to markets that they may not have had access to before but with that um, we've also opened them up to really fierce Look competition. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and, and trade agreements and yes. stuff that we have done here. And how, how is the Manufacturers Association um, able to prepare its members for that reality? Well, Manufacturers Association, I mean, um, my day job um, mm -hmm. <laughs> is mm. a company that mm. um, exports throughout the world. It's uh, international. We, we, I mean, very few countries, parts of the world that we don't export to. Um, the Manufacturers Association assists, but assist us where we have barriers. Again, um, assist us in terms of facilitating our ability to export mm -hmm. where we have challenges. Also, we would then, the, the Manufacturers Association would have the necessary contacts and um, help us get the necessary information. Um, yes, in terms of globalization, yes, you may be able to export your products all over the world, but there are so many barriers to trade. Mm -hmm. um, it is almost amazing. It's, it mm. sounds a lot easier, uh, I'll tell you in our organization, each, each country you export mm. to has a different label, mm -hmm. has a diff the packaging, the bottle sizes mm. for the USA and so you have to um, export in 750 ml bottles. But Europe, it's 700 ml bottles. Mm -hmm. So think of you in your small plant trying to plan your production. You have a variety of bottles, variety of labels. Each label has to have its produce, um, who the distributor is going to be and stuff like that. So exporting is a lot more of a challenge, even though it sounds like we have the global um, market at, you know, at our fingertip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, unfortunately, we're small. Um, high cost producers, mm -hmm. so we have to focus on niche, as Rene said earlier. We we, we we definitely can't go in and compete in the mass market, mm -hmm. and um, it, it by opening up our own markets, we can see um, products coming in here that can undercut our pro our you know our prices right. and so, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where you have to go. That's why we push in quality as such an issue. Absolutely, you have to go with high end, high quality. Um, world-class products. If you don't, go, if you don't go there, people are prepared to pay a premium mm -hmm. if they know they get quality. quality. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so that's why that's why we have to go. So having way. said that, how do you respond to suggestions that manufacturers don't put enough emphasis or pay enough attention to research and development? Into research and development. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I'm not sure no, that that's no. necessarily mm. a fair a, a fair yeah. statement. No, Research and development so. is expensive. Mm. It's 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 quite expensive, and it has to be. Any successful manufacturer, you're constantly having. I mean, 
research and development is that's quite wide as well. Eh? Yes. So you're doing research and development in terms of product development. You you're always having to look at new products, yes. and I think we're quite innovative. If you look at the, you know the local manufacturers, mm. all, we were always oh, coming yes. out with new products. Yes. Research and development incorporates um, export markets, identifying potential um, niche markets, niche, whether yeah. they export or even locally, mm -hmm. opportunities locally. Um, so research and development is quite wide. Broad, and yes. I think, yes, most, but I, and, I, I, and it's essential to all, um, all manufacturers. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that there's been, it's, it's been neglected. Mm. Um, Not at all. It's, it's a continuous, <laughs> it's a continuous um, work in progress because mm. as you face different markets, what happens is that um, a slight, you, you may have to tweak things mm. slightly because it depends on the culture, the taste, the habits of the, of the country that you're working with. And very often, what happens here doesn't does not in Saint Lucia per se may not um, uh, that a particular product may not work so well for Saint Vincent, mm -hmm. they, uh, although they're just right. next door, and it requires you to probably do a small uh, a tweaking mm -hmm. just to, to so that you could you know capture the market. So we are doing research and development all the time. I, I agree, with Margaret. But I don't think it's fair to say. But in fairness, <laughs> they they I mean, yeah. there you are limited by finances and the capacity. You of say it's people. expensive. It is yes. quite expensive. It is expensive. I mean, product yeah. development, doing yeah. all the research can be quite expensive um, just going out there getting information mm -hmm. um, the internet has made it a lot easier oh I must yes, say a yes, lot yes, information yes. is at your fingertips if you have the time and make the effort but um, it, it is a bit more it yeah. is expensive you feel brief let's take that break when we come back we can talk about technology and how it's impacted the manufacturing sector you're watching Newsmaker Live with me Kendall Burton our guest this evening Margaret Monplazy Rene Demires of the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association we'll be right back